This is the Ramsey Custom Shop. My name is Gary. This week we're working on the stainless steel induction element and as you saw at the beginning of the video we made a really tight radius bend, uh, formed it back out with a hammer and then did a flow test just to make sure we got a good flow of water through it. And I'm doing this for a local customer, uh, potentially for a small uh, production run of three or four hundred of these per year. So the last few days I've worked on this uh, jig to be able to reproduce these in a consistent way. If you're not already a subscriber of the other channel, I've already shown two or three videos on the jig, but today we're going to focus in on actually making one using the jig and some close-up shots of TIG welding uh, some thin stainless steel tubing. Alright guys, this is a little unusual for me. I'm going to do a little voiceover here and kind of talk you through this. And let me know if you think the uh, voiceover is helpful. You know, some people watching the videos, they don't really care to hear me talk. They can just kind of watch along and figure it out. Other people, you know, may not know exactly what I'm doing or may want to hear a little in more information. So we'll give this a try. So after bending the pipes, the tube tubing there, I went ahead and got those uh, set up in the jig and locked into place. And, you know, basically so that we can hold the spacing uh, between those tubes, keep those accurate while we do the welding and so forth. Just getting it all bolted in here. So the one thing, I, I didn't add the footage in, but I went ahead and welded those between the tubes there. And um, now once those are welded in place, I'm up at the other end. And my, of course on a Sunday, my acetylene and ox or oxygen tank ran out. And so I had a map gas uh, torch. So I'm using that and it worked pretty well. I was able to heat it up, get enough of this. Just bending those tubes up one at a time, getting them cherry hot. Trying to keep them as close together and on that 45, create that 45 degree angle in there as much as I could. Just checking it here with a little 45 block. This is just a square block I've got that 45 and it was pretty close. The one I was copying was actually less than 45, but the drawings called for 45. So I went ahead and tried to get it as close to 45 as possible. Now here, there's a lot of excess tubing and I'm gonna cut most of it off here so that we can get that folded in and bent in and you're just gonna whack it off with an angle grinder. And off camera, I didn't show it, but I uh, chamfered, well, not at this point, but later I'll chamfer the, the insides of those holes to clean out the burrs. So here, I just used a um, adjustable wrench to, to kind of get those started and bend over and then uh, finished it up with a hammer. Just wasn't enough room to work in there. And again, the very end of that is going to get cut off again to its final length. You'll see in a minute. I don't show the cutoff part, but. So those got folded in and seemed to work okay. The, the bend, you know, isn't that kinked or anything. It, it looks like it's in pretty good shape there. So just repeating the process. I dropped the wrench and just said, screw that. I'll just hammer these down. So this part here is a 5 8 inch stainless uh, tube and I'm going to cut a one inch section of that on the bandsaw here and that's going to be an adapter to adapt the two tubes into the AN fitting and here you'll see we're squeezing the one end in the vise to, to make it fit the two tubes and then the other end will maintain its round shape to fit the AN fitting you'll see that here in a minute just kind of working it slowly, making sure it's square in there. Keep squeezing, squeezing until I get the right fit. And here's the other end, the round end, fitting up with the AN fitting. And we're just going to go ahead and weld this together and make it one piece. So just kind of speed you through that welding process here. You'll see I get two tacks on it, one on either side, and then uh, take it out of the clamp and then go ahead and get it welded. That AN fitting's pretty thick and the tubing I think is 60 thousandths. Both, both the, the 5 8 tubing and the, and the 3 8 small tubing are 
60 thousandths wall thickness so it welds pretty nice pretty easy only issue I had was well it was hot right there at the end so here are the two tubes up at their final location I'm gonna weld the seam between the tubes down into the end of the tube so that we don't have any issues with them leaking only issue I had is that that Eastwood TIG welder has the temp control the voltage control was actually on the foot pedal sometimes when you drag the foot pedal around with your foot and sort of position it in a place you can change the the voltage accidentally and I did that there and blew through the end and had to go back and clean that up it's really annoying about that design of the Eastwood TIG welder so here's the final piece getting fit up you know we got our jig with a threaded hole in that plate and then a bolt just kind of runs in there to help us locate where that goes and it fit in there pretty well and I just you know held it with to the final location and put a little tack on it and then tack the other side and that was good to go for that and we'll do the same thing on the other side I weld that tube up off camera and um, again running our bolt in this one didn't fit up quite as good here I, it was on just a little bit of a funky angle but it wasn't bad I was kind of fighting with it there to try to get it and um, so I just again pushed it and held it and you'll see that uh, you get a tack on it there and it holds its position once I get the tack on it we'll put another tack it's got a tiny gap in it so I didn't want to take a chance on blowing through so I just put a little filler in that so we'll pop it out it's in there pretty tight now and fit it up all the way around so it's in there pretty snug I had to kind of work it and pop it and get it get it out of there but I think it worked out fairly well for what I was trying to do and now just doing the final welding all the way around those definitely don't want any leaks so taking the time to go all the way around and get the different angles different positions just speeding you through this no reason to be in a hurry and that's about it we'll, we'll uh, take you to the end of the video now Okay, well, we get it all finished up. I'm wondering if anybody can tell which one is the original and which one is the uh, the one we just made. Well, the one with the tag on it is the original one there. The one on the left is uh, the one we just made. So you can see generally that it's the same shape and everything. The one I made has more of a 45 here because that's what the plan said. This one is actually uh, tighter than 45 um it just was you know off a little bit uh there are some other issues with the one i made you can see as it gets close up to the top there it wants to kind of spread apart and i don't know if that's my jig or exactly what caused that or when i bent those upper tubes there that it did that but i think i can cut that last center weld in the middle there up toward the top and bring it back together a little bit and re-weld it and should be good to go but anyway uh we'll see how this works out you know if we get a a little contract to build these um you know on an ongoing basis or not um i'm honestly on the fence about it i i can't say that i love doing it you know i, I definitely would not want to bend 300 of those myself a year if i get this i'll definitely want to hire somebody and work on the jig some more to make it so that uh you know so that people can uh so that i can hire it out and you know pay somebody to do it and make a little money off of it and keep the customer happy but anyway if this is uh, one of the first videos that you've watched them on if you look over on this side of the screen over here uh there's a playlist of other tig welding videos and other metal fabrication work go check that out see if you like any of it and for all my normal viewers thank you guys i appreciate all your help and support and viewership and uh, positive comments it means a lot thanks guys